Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School, where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool, truly. Learn with the common goal. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. Home to math minds, some of the best readers, musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders. Lots happening in this wonderful place, and there's only one way to stay up to date. So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? 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 Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Good morning, afternoon, or night, depending on whenever you're watching this. This is Shamrock News, and we're your hosts for today. I'm Alyssa, a.k.a. Too Tall. I'm Alexandra, a.k.a. Somewhere in the Middle. I'm Yazzie, a.k.a. The Shortest Person Here. We're going to head over to our Day 1 correspondent team right now and check out our Pennies for People press conference. Welcome to the Pennies for People press conference. I'm ready for your questions. Harper! 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 Harper, 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 Harper. What is the Pennies for People drive? It's a fundraiser we've held for three years at Round Middle School where we ask people to bring in their spare change so we can create some positive change for someone else. Harper! 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 Harper, 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 Harper. Can we only bring in pennies? You can bring in pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars, dollar bills, hundred of dollars, and everything else. We accept all forms of American currency. No Canadian dollars. Harper! 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 Harper, Harper. Okay, so if I bring in the change, where do I put it? Bring the change into your first period teacher's classroom and drop it in the tin can located next to your teacher's desk. Harper! 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 Harper. Harper. What is this money going to be used for? We'll be donating the money to the Wichita Center Housing Fund. This fund will help people in our community pay for their rent or bills if, if they are needed financial assistance. Harper! 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 Why do we need to help other people pay their rent? Can't they just do it themselves? Because helping other people is important. If we have the ability to help others, we should do so. We're not asking anyone to break their piggy bank open or drain their savings, but we want to show that if we can all give a little change, then we can make a huge difference for somebody else. Harper! Harper! How much money have we raised in the past? Over the past two years, we've raised around $1,200 for people in our community. Harper! 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 Do we get a prize for bringing in the most money? We're not going to give prizes this year for whatever classroom brings in the most money, partially because each first period class has a different number of students, and partially because we want to do this because it just helps other people. Harper! 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 When does the Pennies for People fundraiser end? We originally decided that it would end on November 10th, but we're going to extend it till no Thursday, November 16th. We will announce how much money we've raised on the Wednesday after the long weekend of, at the end of November break. Any more questions? Huh? No. I think so. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Leia, and the book I'm going to be talking about today is The Scythe. The Scythe is written by Neil Shusterman. The genre of this book is fiction. This book is about two kids named Sutra and Rowan, and they are chosen to be Scythe apprentice. A Scythe's job in this book is to kill other people because in the book um, they cured all disease and they can revive you if you die. So, but they still need to control the population. So there are Scythes that kill people randomly. The main conflict in this book is that Sutra and Rowan have high morals and they don't think other people should be killed. To who would you recommend this book to? I would recommend this book to people who like dystopian books. Why do you like this book so much? I like this book so much because it was really fun to read and it had a lot of interesting events. Oh.
Did you know that there is free breakfast and lunch at Round Middle School? Make sure you're taking advantage of it. This is so dumb. I won't be here anymore. Hey, go to class. I don't want to go to class. I don't want to go to class. That was stupid. I hate class. Are so you not going to go to your class? No! Geez, sorry. I'm going to do this! Don't you have class right now? I don't want to go! Mr. Dix, what are you doing? Yeah, Mr. Dix, go teach your class. I don't want to teach! Here, eat this apple. <sighs> Thanks. I needed that. You're not yourself when you're hungry. Thanks to a grant that's been awarded, Round Middle School has free lunch and breakfast every single day. Yeah. So help yourself, help yourself and grab some free free breakfast or lunch throughout your day. I hate this school, I don't want to be here anymore! It's so dumb, everyone is so mean. Let's go get Miss Morrison free lunch. Friday, BSU and Fuego are teaming up to sell snacks before school and during lunch as a part of a fundraiser for their programs. Hey Rebel students, BSU and Fuego! We're hosting a fundraiser. We're selling donuts and chips for $2 each and $3 for both. table outside the cafeteria selling chips and donuts. <laughs> Rob BSU is hosting a fundraiser to help raise money for the affinity group, so please help out if you can. gonna be drinks, chips, and candy. Just make sure to bring your money. See you there. The Mustangs Madness 3 for 3 tourney is right around the corner. This one shot on Saturday, December 16, 2023. Milwaukee Mustangs basketball program is hosting a 3v3 tournament. The tournament title Mustang Madness will be for youth as well as alumni and community members. Here's how it all goes down. First, find a team consisting of anywhere from three to four people. Hey, I thought you look pretty good at basketball. Do you want to join my group? Yeah, I will. Thank you, I appreciate it. There will be five divisions. Boys youth, which is five through eight, and girls youth, which is five through eight. High school mixed with boys and girls grades nine through 12 who aren't in any high school basketball teams. There's also a women's division and a men's division. Oh. Guess what? You also get t-shirts. The tournament does cost money, but all of the money will go towards the Milwaukee Mustangs boys basketball program. Games will be played on Saturday, December 16th throughout the day. Each team will at least play three games. There will be prizes for each of the winners in the tournament.
How are you guys feeling about this cross country meet? Fine. Okay, she's very clingy. Too long. Too long. She's very right. clingy. You guys can do good. How are you guys feeling about this cross country event? Excited. Cool, because I got out of school early. Yeah. Yep, yep. Go round. How are you guys feeling about this cross country event? I'm gonna win. Gonna win? I feel 10 minutes. Really nervous. Probably hit a flag. But, you know, what happens, what happens. Yeah, hold in. Yeah, hold in. Oh, oh, here we go. Good job, Ethan. Let's go. Nice job, baby. Nice job. On your mark. We're knocking out books so that we can be a part of the One Million Word Club. We're reading all kinds of books! Everything from graphic novels to nonfiction to fantasy. The One Million Word Club is a super awesome reading club for the students in our building to total one million words throughout the year. Those who read one million words will get invited to a special pizza party and they'll also get a bracelet and a sticker. Woo! Woo! If you're interested in joining, here's how. of the One Million Words Club Tracker. Keep the name, but just add your name to the title. <laughs> You'll notice there are five columns. One column for the date you finish the book. One column for the title of the book. One for the author's name, and one for the word count. One for a brief review of the book. When you finish a book, 
open this spreadsheet and fill out the columns. To find the word count, either go to the AR Book Find link or the Reading Length link at the top of the spreadsheet. Enter the name of your novel and find out how many words are in it. Then put that number in your spreadsheet. You can tally up how many words you've read just by dragging your mouse over the word counts and looking in the bottom right hand corner. If it's over one million, share it with Mr. Dix. You'll get a bracelet, a sticker, and an invitation to the end of the year pizza party. Whoa! The Shamrock News team will then call you down to get your one million word club swag. We know we've got a lot of our readers and we'd like to celebrate those who are knocking out books all of the time. So we invite you Rao readers to get after it, get reading, and start tracking your word counts to be part of the One Million Word Club! Okay, who am I here with? Calder. And how are you feeling about the chess competition today? I love it. Yeah. Okay, who are we here with? Henry. And how are you enjoying the chess competition? I think it's a really great idea. Yeah, it totally is. Okay, who am I here with? Um, Dewey. And Damien. And how are you guys feeling about the chess competition? I am actually really excited because I love chess. I've played it for all my life and I am so happy to be here. Would agree to same uh, same thing to him right now. Yay, chess! Okay, who are we here with? Jesse. And how are you feeling about the chess competition? Really good. That's great. That's that's awesome. Who are we here with? Maddie. And how are you feeling about the chess competition? I love chess. You love chess? <laughs> I love chess. Yay! The yearbook team is holding an art contest to decide this year's yearbook cover. The cover is a piece of timeless art. It represents the essence of the entire school year. It simulates the triumphs and tribulations. It escalates the hardships and heroism. It embodies the Slayer and A vibes of the building. And we need a cover for this year's yearbook round of the school. The theme of the school year is high hopes, and we want our yearbook cover to reflect those high hopes. If you're interested in attempting to design a yearbook cover for the school, here's what you need to know. You, if you're doing this digitally, make sure your dimensions are 8.5 by 11 inches. When you're done, you can submit your art as a PDF or JPEG, JPEG to Ms. Hoskins at this link right here. If you're doing this on paper, please do not use loose leaf paper. Do this on a piece of white printer paper and make sure that your art is done that the colors pop. Basically, that means don't use a number two pencil because it's hard to pick up the lines on the scan. Markers, color pencils, and paint work lovely. went out on a field trip to a tour campus and watch a soccer game. Let's check out the highlights.
just witnessed the best goal ever. Ooh. It was a beautiful header in. Uh, beautiful yes. header in. Yes. Best goal ever. Now the score is three to zero. Go pilots. <laughs> Mine and now. respectful. It's mine. Mr. Kelly, Mr. Knock it stole it. He stole Mr. it from Kelly, me. You're rude. I will take your no. run of jewels. Our students have been so respectful, so kind. We only all get one, speakers. and he takes it. I'm oh, yeah. what Where's is going on? He the stole it. No, you're not. Dr. Silva Where's is here. Where's the score? We only get one. He one. stole it. We he won. stole it from us. He stole okay, it. Was one per. Took one. Y'all put Let's all the responsibility on me. Oh my God, you stole something. Whoa, this is a bad. I didn't steal anything. Anyways, University of Portland Avenue Night has been phenomenal. Our students have been so kind, so respectful, so appreciative of all the guest speakers and all the people that have taken their time to come and show us what an amazing university, University of Portland is. It's awesome to see what college life looks like, and I think it's amazing for our students here. College Thank life you. is theft. Go pilots and go Steal your rock. education. Steal it! Okay. Shamrock. See you next time on the Shamrock News. Same Shamrock time, same Shamrock place. Peace! Sham Sham shout out to? John Wasson. He's amazing at baseball. Who would you like to give a Sham Sham shout out to? Um, to John and to Ms. Doyle and my sisters. Who would you like to give a Sham Sham shout out to? I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to David. Yep. Carson. Lincoln and all my library friends and John. Who'd you guys like to give a sham sham shout out to? So first to Mike Davies. Not you. I'm gonna ask Peter Parker. Uh, LaMichael. To Michael Davy. Brandon Owen. Michael Davy. Owen John and Reese. And not me. Who'd you like to give a sham sham shout out to? Reese and John. And Brandon and Joshua. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Who'd you like to give a sham sham shout out to? John Wesley. Think of a Shamrock shout out to John Reese and Ariston. Yes, sir. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? I would like to give out a shout out to Mr. John filming right here because he's the goat. Mustang Madness. Mustang born, Mustang bright. Oh shoot, I messed up. Yeehaw! The Mustang Madness 3v3. Yeehaw! Go Mustangs! <laughs> Camera, do we know? <laughs> three, two, one. Oh! Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. Woo! and wave, Leander, smile and wave. Come on, Leander, wave, smile and wave. Go. This is so Ready? Three, two. I don't wanna be. Right? Three, two. I don't wanna teach. Teach. I don't wanna. Do you got it? I don't wanna teach. Okay. It says NBSU. Leah. Okay, it's okay. There's gonna be chips. Candy and drinks. Okay, so how are you feeling about the, the chess tournament? I'm forced to do this. Who are we here with? Ethan. And how do you feel about the chess tournament? I can't get paid enough to do this. How are you feeling about this cross country event? I'm excited. You're excited! Oh. I'm excited. 
I'm gonna win. He's excited. Ooh, first place. And Bryce is gonna win too. First place. Let's go around. I don't know. Boys group, which is. You'll also need to include the names of your your teammates as well as everyone's shirts. Harper! 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 Why do we need to pay rent for other people? Can't they just do it themselves? I used to have a friend named Fisher. Fisher? No, I can't. Well, his friend's name is Fisher. But I don't know if it still applies if it's a name. His name is Fisher. I love to roast it. Let's go. Questions? No, I think that's pretty, pretty good. Mm, no? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do one more. Um, <laughs> I was trying really hard to ignore that. Oh my God. Hi. What? We can cut that out. Steve, a shout out to uh, Mario, John, Ben, Luke. Reese, John, again. Yep. Who do you like to shout out to? To Reese and to John. Uh. <laughs> when you're done, you can submit your art as a PDF or JPEG to Mr. Hoskins at this link right. The yearbook cover is a. <laughs>